Manchester United want to sell winger after Sir Jim Ratcliffe left upset by Alejandro Garnacho. Sir Jim Ratcliffe has made it abundantly clear that he will waste no time re-establishing the highest standards at Manchester United on and off the pitch. His ruthless rebuild as Ineos control bleeds through Old Trafford will extend into the summer transfer window, which could spell bad news for Eric Ten Hag's underperforming players. And several players are set to be in the shop window this summer, as Ratcliffe looks to purge mediocrity and fund much-needed upgrades at the start of his era. Anthony, who has registered no goals and just one assist in the Premier League this season, is reportedly one of the players at risk. According to Sport Italia, United want to offload the $90 million flop this summer and recoup a chunk of the fee that made him the second most expensive player in the club's history. Ineos are also said to be keen to address the overinflated wage bill they inherited, which will be helped by Rafael Varane and Anthony Martial's likely exits as free agents in July. The report adds that, as of yet, no suitors have emerged for Anthony after two disappointing years at Old Trafford. United are said to hope that will change in the coming weeks. Ratcliffe won't stand for failure on the pitch or ill discipline off it. Based on recent reports of his reaction to Alejandro Garnacho liking social media criticism of Ten Hag. Manchester United expected to be in conversation for Benjamin Sesko. Manchester United are expected to be in the conversation for RB Leipzig striker Benjamin Sesko, according to reputed journalist Ben Jacobs. The Red Devils currently have Rasmus Hoyland as their main striker, but they need a quality competitor alongside him next season, with Anthony Martial set to leave the club. Martial has had another injury-plagued campaign. The Frenchman is widely anticipated to be released when his contract expires at the end of June. United are on the hunt for a potential successor and speaking to the United stand, Jacobs expects the Red Devils to be in the running to sign Sesko. Sesko had a slow start to his debut campaign with Leipzig. He was a regular on the bench with Yusuf Poulsen and Lois Openda preferred ahead of him. However, he has transformed his fortunes during the back end of the campaign. The Slovenian has scored or assisted in each of his previous eight league starts. In our opinion, he would be a perfect competitor to Hoyland next season. Sesko would ensure that the Dane does not take his place for granted up front. United may not need to overpay for the young striker this summer. There is a release clause worth $50 million, which will become valid from June onwards. Real Madrid target Manchester United Caviar as Modric replacement over mouth-watering Manchester City star. Real Madrid are reportedly targeting Manchester United star Kabi Manu as a replacement for Luka Modric as they admit defeat in their bid to sign a mouth-watering Manchester City star. Modric will go down in history as a Madrid legend having spent 12 years at the club, winning five Champions League titles and three La Liga titles. The Croatia international has not been offered a new deal at the club and may leave in the summer though manager Carlo Ancelotti has offered him a place on his coaching staff if he wants to remain at the Bernabeu. In any case, Madrid are looking for a replacement, and Spanish publication Nacional Claim President Florentino Perez has Mainu in his sights, as signing top choice Phil Foden is deemed impossible. Mainu though has aroused the interest of Madrid and is thought to be comparable to Foden despite only breaking into the United first team this season. Perez is betting on young talents, and Jude Bellingham's outstanding start to his career in Madrid will only have strengthened the president's desire to hoover up further, young English talent. Menu scored an outstanding goal in the draw with Liverpool, but United legend Gary Neville claims the 18-year-old still has much to learn when it comes to his positioning in midfield after he failed to do the basics of the game alongside Casemiro. Manchester United line up $70 million transfer, who's an enormous upgrade on Anthony. Manchester United's attack over the last few years has been extremely unbalanced in terms of quality and output. The left has been occupied mainly by Marcus Rashford, who, despite being heavily criticized recently, has always scored goals. However, the right-wing role has often been vacated, and last summer, Eric Ten Hag looked to have finally solved that issue when signing Anthony from Ajax. Obviously, the Brazilian hasn't quite reached the heights expected, and therefore, Sir Jim Ratcliffe will once again attempt to finally find a long-term suitor to the right of the front line. According to a report from ESPN via Football 365, Manchester United are interested in signing Michael Olise from Crystal Palace. The French winger is currently the favourite to replace Anthony this summer after starting for the Eagles. It's reported that Olise would rather join the Red Devils over Liverpool, which would already make him a fan favourite at Old Trafford. That said, 
For United to get their hands on the winger, they will have to pay his $60 million release clause, which only becomes valid at the end of the season. It's a well-known fact that Anthony has underperformed heavily this season, with the player visibly lacking confidence and struggling to impact the game whatsoever. To sum up his campaign briefly, the former Ajax superstar has zero goals and just one assist in 25 Premier League matches, which is simply not good enough for a player who cost a staggering $90 million. Yet on the other hand, when Elise is on the field, Palace are a completely different side that look far more dangerous in the final third. The 22-year-old forward is the definition of a game-changer, and his statistics from this season speak for themselves, having scored six goals and provided three assists in just nine starts. An absolutely incredible return. Tottenham abandoning Jean-Claire Todibo move. Manchester United have received a major boost in their pursuit of the services of Jean-Claire Todibo, with Tottenham taking a back seat. According to a report by Team Talk, Manchester United are keen on reinforcing their defence ahead of next season. It is going to be their priority heading into the summer transfer window, and OGC Nice's Jean-Claire Todibo is a top target for the Red Devils. They have received a major boost as Tottenham Hotspur are no longer a part of the race. Things might not have worked for Todibo at Barcelona, but he seems to have revived himself at Nice. The Frenchman has gone from strength to strength since joining them in 2021 and is amongst their best players at this point in time. The 24-year-old's impressive rise has not gone unnoticed and there has been a lot of interest in his services. In the ongoing season, the French international has featured in 27 matches and has showcased his class on a consistent basis. While his contract with Nice runs until the summer of 2027, there is a possibility of him joining a bigger club in the summer. Manchester United are one of the clubs keen on having him in their ranks. The Red Devils are undergoing major changes at the club post the arrival of Sir Jim Ratcliffe, and they are expected to have a busy summer window looking to reinforce their squad. Unlike previous windows, Manchester United are expected to look for cost-effective solutions rather than overspending on players. Reinforcing the defence is their priority. They have struggled at the back because of multiple injuries to key defenders. A few of their senior defenders like Rafael Varane and Johnny Evans are expected to be on the move in the summer, and they are looking to bring in a young defender who can help them in the long run. Toribo is one of the names on Manchester United's radar, and they are quite serious about securing his signature. The Red Devils have already held talks with the players' representatives and so far, the talks have been positive and exciting. Meanwhile, Tottenham Hotspur, who wanted to sign the 24-year-old in the winter and were considering pushing for him in the summer, have shifted their focus elsewhere. While they are still looking for another centre-back, they have abandoned Todibo's pursuit. Other interested clubs have also taken a back seat. As a result, Manchester United are in a very strong position. Nice's asking of 40 million is another major positive for the Red Devils as they look to bring in cost-effective players. They are expected to have a budget of around $150 million, so they need to make sure they spend it in the best possible way.